Hey guys, my name is Zafi, sorry for the background noise, and today, again, we are back to record this video for the second time, because I actually recorded it, but my OBS messed up, and the screen didn't fit the whole thing, and I, it was really sad. Anyway, today we're going to do the finale of what achievements can I complete in Minecraft, and this time we have some good ones, and I've included ones that can only be done in the game, like poisoning a witch, which is not one of the interesting ones, but I things like that, because I thought if I'm in the game as a human being, could I do this? And we're, gonna, we're just going to see, because I really hope we can do most of these so I can look good, but, you know, we probably can't, because that's just how Minecraft works. But let's get off with number, let's just start with number one, and if you do enjoy that, consider subscribing, it really means the world to me. But let's get right into it. Starting off with Find an Underwater Ruin. I think this one's not that bad, I mean, if Find means Discover, then it's going to be really hard. But if I just look at an Underwater Ruin, I think, I personally think, oh, I could do this one, this is not a big deal. Moving on. So go to go to all seven seas visit all seven oceans that one is not that hard it will cost a bit of money but I could definitely visit all seven oceans I, I'm pretty confident in that one if I could just touch them this one however I'm not so sure dried kelp for three days that's all you can eat for three days that one is definitely pretty hard and it's it, it, will I live on dried kelp that's disgusting <laughs> Ew. I'm not gonna I'm not even gonna find out I don't want to find out next up move on to find a shipwreck I'm gonna say this is just as hard it seems like it wouldn't be harder I feel like a shipwreck could be it depends if it's on land if it's on land it might be easier but I'm gonna put it at the same place collect a fish in a bucket I feel like this one could has the potential to be easier so I'm gonna put it right here so that one's that one's no big deal we're, we're good on that one dig up a buried treasure this one's pretty hard it's not as hard as those two but it's still pretty hard ew that's that spacing is really bad so I'm gonna put it there uh, stay for a whole day underwater. Okay, so that's two minutes I could do with a, a snorkel. However, this one, that's, like, it's, that's literally, that's literally, literally near impossible. Because I guess there's, like, a, a submarine, but the chances of me getting on a submarine are really low. So I'm going to put that in the hell no never section. Plant four sea pickles next to each other. I thought I could, I could do that one. That, that one, that one is, that was pretty easy. I'm feeling good. This is a pretty balanced chart so far. Feed a dolphin. I guess this one's pretty unlikely, but I could maybe, you know, hopefully, like, at an aquarium or something, ask to feed the dolphin. I guess it's really circumstantial, but it could be done. It definitely could be done. This one, however, I'm going to have to put in this, because this achievement, place scaffolding at the world limit. And if you guys don't know, the world limit for Earth is pretty high up, and I'm, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to put scaffolding up there anytime soon, so, yeah, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. This one depends on my cat, so I'm going to put it here, and it says the cat has to give you a gift in the morning. And you know, if my cat, I don't even have a cat, so this is already going to be pretty hard. And now look, at, now look the chart, the chart isn't so, I guess it's, you know, it's somewhat balanced, I guess it's okay, but not, it's not looking good. Feed pandas, and make them make love, but I guess that part is not, like hearts, are, imagine if hearts appeared in real life over animals, that'd be pretty funny. But I don't think, I, I like, again, very circumstantial. I guess, like, feed the dolphins, I can feed the pandas. Yeah. Befriend 20 cats. I feel like that's not very, like, it's not as easy as, it's not as hard as these three, but it's also pretty difficult to, like, befriend 20 cats. I guess not all at once, so if they die, I could, like, befriend a new one. But, but, but still, I feel like I could do that one. So, yeah, so far, so good. Defeat a Ravenger. I'm going to compare it to its real-life equivalent of a rhinoceros, in which case... Yeah, I'm not, like, I have to have very specific circumstances to beat a Ravenger slash Rhinoceros. That'd be very, very difficult. Trade for the best deal possible. I don't really know what that means, but I'm not a master of tradesman or anything, so I'm going to put that one right about here. That looks good. Uh, what is this one? Ring the bell to sound the alarm for a raid. Okay, so this one is like very, very specific circumstances, but I guess if I was a village and they're about to be raided and they had a bell to tell them they weren't going to be raided, I guess under those very, very specific circumstances, I could do it. But I would require very specific circumstances. Kill the pillager captain. Again, that's like really, 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 really specific. So I'm going to put it here because I'd have to kill someone, which is pretty difficult. You know, in this day and age, that, that's pretty difficult. I'm going to put it here even trade for 1,000 emeralds. That is just 100% unlikely. There is no way I'm going to trade for 1,000 emeralds. Like, I don't know how to trade, and definitely not where, who with, or with whom, 
with who? Is it whom or who? What's even the difference? I don't know where to find trades for emeralds. That's just not happening. At uh, oops, I just zoomed out. That's not happening at all. Feed someone suspicious stew. I guess this one's not that bad. Like I could make some really disgusting stew and then give it to a friend. So I think I can do that one. That's pretty good. Next one, trigger a raid. I guess it's even like it's really really specific circumstances, but I guess it'd be easier than killing a person. So that's all right. Make a conduit. Now we're gonna compare this to the real life. Like let's pretend I was Minecraft Steve. I'd have to carry Prismarine down, breathe underwater, and place this heavy conduit into place. That's pretty difficult. So I'm gonna put this one right over there and the chart is not looking so balanced I'm not feeling so good about this one anymore kill any voker this would be annoying as hell to deal with the vexes and everything the snap attack so I don't I don't think I could do this one. I'm gonna be honest this one's really difficult so I'm gonna put it right there cheat death with the totem of undying so if the totem functioned as it would all I would to do is die but I also have to command myself to get into a life-threatening situation and actually die so I don't think I, I don't think I could do that like I can't get myself to die that's just, that's a bit hard Maybe trying to fight the Ravenger, I can use the Totem of Undying, but then I just died of the Ravenger. Fly through a one by one hole with an Elytra. This one would be very, very difficult if you compare it to like gliding. It would take a lot of training, plus it has to be at 40 meters per second. Yes, that is the achievement. So I guess that's that's very fast. Oh, yeah, actually, no, that's really fast. I'm going to put that right here. That is extremely difficult, and I'm scared. Get Dragon's Breath. Okay, this one is going to be very difficult to actually go near these toxins and collect them with a bottle. But I feel like I feel like it's easier than flying through a one by one gap. Okay, that's is very small. Defeat an Elder Guardian. That one is just not happening. You have you had, like I have to be underwater to fight it. I guess if it's on land, then it's okay. But I have to be underwater to fight it. So yeah, that's pretty difficult. Spawn the Wither. Well, I guess this one's not that hard, because I could spawn the wither. I don't know why I would, but I could. So we're good here. There's only some sand and some skulls. I could do that. Defeat the wither, on the other hand. Yeah, that's going in here. Because I, I cannot defeat the wither with my bear. Yeah, that's just... No, 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 no. Kill a creeper with an arrow. Now, I'm not good at archery at all. But I guess after learning... I don't really know how mushy creepers are either. But I guess after some time... After some time... In the end, I could. I guess I could defeat a creeper with an arrow. This one is a bit complicated. Chest, ch chest, connect the chest to another chest with a minecart hopper. Um, oh, sorry, connect the chest to a chest with a minecart chest, or do some cool stuff with a minecart chest. This one is pretty complicated, but it's not the most complicated here, and I feel like after some work, I could, like, I could get this one to function, so I'm gonna put it right here. I'm pretty confident. Poison a witch. This one's pretty easy. All I have to do is throw the bottle at the witch. I'm 100% confident I could do this. I'd be pretty scared to approach the witch, but I I guess I could. I think, I really think I could. We're nearing the end here. Make an iron golem. Now, you guys might say this is easy, but let's think about this in real life. I have to lift a cubic four, well, I have to move one, and then lift three cubic meters of iron, plus a massive cubic pumpkin, and they have to levitate. So... Well, I guess the Wither has levitate too, but you know, that's just, yeah, that's just pretty hard. And I don't think I could ever lift cubic meters of iron. That's super heavy. This one is like a weird achievement. It's specific to a minigame in Minecraft, but you have to kill a player while starving. This one is going to be very difficult as I'm pretty sure I'll be pretty weak while starving. I've never been like starving, starving, but yeah, killing someone while starving, that's a no, no. That's going to be very hard. Cure a zombie villager. I feel like when I try to picture this in my head, it's going to be like really creepy to approach this zombie and throw apples and a potion on it. But I think in the end, it is easier than cheating death. So I'm going to put it right here. Like killing a creeper with an arrow, the same thing. I'm pretty confident. And finally, this achievement. You might guess what it is, but it's get all the achievements. Get all the achievements. Like, yeah, let me, just, let me just put that one right there. Perfect. Anyway, guys, that actually concludes today's video. If you have enjoyed and consider leaving like and subscribing, it would mean the world to me. I really hope you did enjoy this mini series. If you haven't watched part one and two, I recommend doing so as they are quite entertaining. And thank you all so much once again. I'll see you on the next one tomorrow. Peace out. Adios. Bye.